what is going on everyone and welcome to another video on uh, the fox tech youtube channel you, you can see we have the iphone in front of us and the topic is how do you make your iphone read books out loud to you now there are multiple different approaches or things which you can do or how you can go about the situation but i'm going to show you of course the way i do it and the most practical way to go about it now the first thing which you can do is to find the books app on your iphone it's an official app from apple and if you don't have it you can always just reinstall it back from the app store because it's free and it's official so you're always going to be able to find it now you probably have some books already downloaded on your book app and if that's the case you can always just open it up and the first thing that may come to your mind is you can make your ipad read the books but it's not something that you would probably expect you can for example whenever you have some text within the books you can always just select it so if you have the text selected you can make it a speak so when you click on that tap on more options it's going to show me to the option to speak. When I click on that, it's going to start speaking the text, but this is not ideal. It's not the best thing. Like I wouldn't really do that. You have to select the text and the text is going to become automated. However, if you don't even have that option, you need to come back to the settings and go to the accessibility section and click on spoken content. So you can see spoken content is here and make sure that speak selection is turned on and speak screen is turned on. So when I come back to the books app, I can literally just swipe down from the upper portion like this and it's like reading the book for me but the the voice is the siri it's automated it's not doesn't sound that good you're not supposed to do it that way that's not how people do it guys i want you to use your devices the best possible way and that's why i created this free education platform where you can find as of right now there's the video editing course all apps explain where you can find full guides for many different apps we're constantly adding more to the list it's free to access link is down below if you want your uh, iphone to read books out loud to you you are supposed to use the audiobook section so for example at the bottom you have the reading now library bookstore you also have the audiobooks and if you go to the audiobooks you can find audiobooks which are like spoken which are read by professional people you don't have to do anything you can play it as a sound and you can find anything in here so it's really useful you can find books in here it's really nice you can find them there so once you get there you can always just buy it download it and that way you're going to be able to listen to the audiobook it's a completely different experience i would never use that it's not even recommended to like speak the screen of a text of the book it doesn't work that way it's not how you're supposed to use it so yeah that's this is the first option and download audiobooks through the apple official books app but what i use personally is a service called audible so if you go to books you can see you can find the audible app right now you can search it up by the name and it's from amazon of course and there are so many audiobooks there available i'm not affiliated with this website or anything i just really enjoyed the audiobooks i downloaded the app I pay monthly subscription for one credit and using that credit i can purchase any book that i want and listen to it once you have it you can always listen to it for free so that's really good i have it <laughs> i use it all, all the time it's like the entire app is all about audiobooks so i make my iphone speak the books to me or read the books to me through audiobooks and mostly through audible so these are my tips this is how i do it you can do it the same way or purchase audiobooks from within the books app so it's up to you but this is basically how it works so i'm gonna wrap up this video right now hope you found this video useful if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up under it but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials and videos like this one thanks a lot for watching see you guys later